I'm completely frozen. Hey everybody, this is Peter from Afro Electric and today another day we are working on Tatra. Uh, uh, we are going to wash it obviously we didn't finish it yesterday it was like two and a half hours of washing I'm about a half a half way it takes it takes forever so we'll continue to wash it and it's pretty much it everything is ready then I will have to get some batteries start up the engine and get it into the shop so let's do the funny wedding part completely frozen it's about five seven degrees Celsius outside and that water is not really hot <laughs> but I have to get it done So finally I'm done after five or six hours of washing with this pressure washer I'm finally done with the washing Tatra <laughs> I couldn't believe that I, I did it so long time in some spots there were like inch of grease mixed with, with, the, with the soil I couldn't see the bolts I couldn't see how the parts are attached I couldn't see the lines airlines uh, it was simply horrible I'm frozen dirty tired I'm I'm glad I'm done today is another day this day is very important for me because I'm probably going uh, f probably today is important day I'm going to get another Tatra 815 and he's supposed to be here in 10 minutes so we'll see I can't wait
So finally, I got second Tatra here. It came as the first one, it came from Slovakia, about 500 kilometers away. And uh, I am very happy because I have now both of the Tatras uh, for uh, my build. All I need about, about chassis I have already now. So it's awesome, I'm very happy. And now Today we are going to put the batteries into the truck and we are going to put it into the shop. I have been trying to get uh, some batteries from somewhere to borrow them, but people just uh, promised and didn't show up or uh, they couldn't do that or didn't want to do that. So I had to buy these two over here. One is 180 amp hours. So we are going to, uh, uh, <clears throat> going to have two of them and uh, it has 1000 amps st maximum starting starting current so we will have up to 2000 amps starting current they are huge they are about about 100 pounds so i'm going to put them there start up the engine and get it to the shop So they are in series, it's 24 volts, so I have to connect them into series to be able to start it up. Když se dotknu tím šroubovákem v obou pólu, tak je vybouchnu. Takže nějak buď to. Teď co mám dělat v tom případě? No buď trošku opatrná. Now I'm going to pump up some uh, some fuel into the system because it has been sitting here for a while and we'll spray some uh, starting fluid into the intake and I hope it will start after then. It might take a few minutes and it will unlock the brakes because when, when the vehicle is parking without air into the system, the rear wheels they will lock so I cannot move it. So I have to pump up the system and then I can try to move it.
time driving Tatra, I think uh, I think it was uh, it was obvious. I didn't know how to shut down the engine, so I, I had to put fifth gear, <coughs> push the brake and uh, push the push the clutch. So that's how how I uh, how I uh, shut down the truck. So now take a look. The roof. The <laughs> The roof is approximately about five uh, centimeters, about two inches higher than the entrance of the of the garage. So we have to get some air from uh, from the tires to be able to actually get there. So let's try it. Hopefully, I will get it in. Did you say anything? I don't know what to say. It's <laughs> it's amazing. You have to drive top truck in your life. Everybody, each of you who are watching, you have to drive a top truck. <laughs> <coughs> so, I was upstairs, <laughs> upstairs. I was in the cab, and uh, I, it seems like we need those two inches I measured when it was staying over there. So we are going to deflate front tires, and hopefully we'll get it in. I have to get it to this mark. This mark over here, so it needs to be about two inches lower. I cannot unscrew it. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> this woman finds me everywhere. <laughs> she finds me everywhere. <laughs> you can't hide anywhere. <clears throat> no blood in my leg. <laughs> so we deflated first. Uh, we deflated the front tires and hopefully we have enough clearance to get it in. We'll see soon, I guess. Awesome, and we finally got it here. It's like two inches from the wall, maybe one inch from the wall, and we have, and we have about maybe two or three feet in front of the vehicle. I'm actually concerned if we can tilt the cab because, of course, if I want to disassemble it, I have to be able to tilt it. So let's try if it will be possible to tilt the cap. Because without that, I cannot take it off. That's, that would suck. I still can go a little bit.
So good news is I can almost fully tilt it, but the, the door must be open. It means it will be cold, but it fits good. It will be possible to disassemble it and do, to do everything what I plan to do. Perfect. I'm happy. Okay, that was fun. 